What a great day. What a great day for our community. Point Loma, Ocean Beach, Sunset Cliffs, the entire city of San Diego. I'm not surprised to see so many, so many families, uh, so many kids, so many of our, our brave members of our fire rescue department, of course, uh, to open up this brand new station. Uh, many of us have uh, driven by, walked by, uh, so finally to be here today to uh, open it and to get a peek is, is really special. Um, opening these new stations is getting to be a regular occurrence for the city of San Diego. This new fire station 22 here in Point Loma is the fourth new station to open since I took office because we've made it a priority. We've made it a priority upgrade uh, to get these great stations up and running. Um, and it's not just fire stations, it's public safety in general. And now we're seeing the results of those investments with new modernized fire stations like this one that has one job, which is to better serve the public. I want to thank Council Member Lori Zaff for joining us here today and all of her tireless work for this community. Uh, she represents this neighborhood, of course, and she's, I can tell you, she's been a great partner in helping to bolster the funding and the support and public safety because it's all about infrastructure and quality of life in our neighborhoods. I'd also like to thank our interim fire rescue chief, Kevin Esther, and the entire crew of Fire Station 22 for all the work that they do each and every day to keep us safe. Let's give a round of applause to Station 22, guys. Thank you. A lot happened in the fire rescue department. As you know, uh, yesterday the city council uh, approved my appointment of our next fire chief, Colin Stoll. And when Chief Stoll officially starts next month, he will take over a department that is second to none in the region, particularly because of our men and women that serve us every day and great projects like this that has the full support of the city of San Diego. Station 22 was originally built right here in 1942 and has served this community for more than seven decades. But as we know, for those of us that live here and see it all the time, it was well past its prime. And it was obvious that we needed to build a modern facility for the firefighters who work here so they could better serve Point Loma and the surrounding neighborhoods. And this is great. We're going to open it up. Everybody's going to have a chance to walk inside in just a second. Um, this is like the infrastructure going by on our streets, all the street repair. <laughs> this is, of course, um, a state-of-the-art fire station, as you will be able to see once you walk inside. It's more than 6,000 square feet, and it includes two vehicle bays, six dorm rooms, a commercial kitchen, and a solar installation to help power the facility and contribute to our climate action plan goals of the city. As with all of our new facilities, this station is designed to protect our firefighters from the carcinogens that they are exposed to in their daily work. It has locker rooms that keep their firefighting gear away from their living quarters, separate washing machines, including one that will only be used to clean the gear of those harmful substances. The facade of this building, of course, includes a four-part mural called Firefighters that was created by the artist Roberto Delgado. And I'd like to thank the city's Arts and Culture Commission for their work and guidance on this and other projects like it. This building has been designed to serve the community while at the same time being a fitting part of the neighborhood. It includes a redesigned driveway that will reduce traffic congestion when the fire trucks leave for emergency calls. And I want to thank all of the community members that had a hand uh, in seeing this project through to its fruition. Um, this is your fire station. This is a part of our community. And of course, I want to thank all of our city employees who helped coordinate its design and construction. Many of the crew is here from many, city diff many different city departments. They love coming out here. When you see what was originally on the drawing board several years ago and to see this building and what it's going to mean to, to helping people. I can tell you that we are investing more each year in neighborhood infrastructure with a record $559 million going to capital improvements this fiscal year alone. And we're seeing real results with projects like this one. New fire stations are just one of the many ways that we are working to boost public safety in the neighborhoods that need it the most. In 2015, we built the city's first new fire station in seven years in Mission Valley. And that was just the beginning. Since then, we have opened or renovated fire stations in City Heights, La Jolla, Little Italy, Mira Mesa, North Park, South Crest, and now Point Loma. And the good news will keep coming because, as I think many of you know, we're going to open up a new station in Hillcrest very soon. These investments, with your help and your support, ensure that we are going to be able to meet the needs 
uh, for the future, to benefit our families, to benefit our kids for decades to come. And this new fire station, as I said before, the brave men and women of our fire rescue department who work for us 24-7 uh, stands ready to serve that goal and to serve that objective. So thank you to members of the community that are here. Thank you to all of our, our fire rescue team. It's, it's great to see uh, the fruition. It's great to see the public involvement, the beautiful mural, our utility box here. I don't know if you guys had a chance to take a look at that in the slice of history um, that's on that. This is important for our entire community. And now I'd like to ask uh, Chief Esther to come on up and uh, oh, before I invite Chief Esther, I wanted to invite uh, Council Member Lori Zaff, who I said from the very beginning has been a driving force for getting this station off the drawing boards uh, into, in what it, into what it is today. Council Member Zaff, come on up, please. Wow, how far have we come from the dark days of budget cuts and brownouts, right? Really far, and that is just in the last uh, eight years and a lot of it having to do with our mayor, uh, Kevin Faulkner, putting our neighborhoods first and really accelerating a lot of these much needed uh, capital improvement projects like this fire station. Um, you know, after, what was it, uh, 60 years, close to seven decades, this didn't need just a facelift, it needed a complete redo and I snuck in and took a little quick tour and ladies well and gentlemen you're always the big cooks seems like what a kitchen that is awesome um, a lot you know just they needed our, our fire rescue team here needed so much more more space more equipment better resources um, you know so they can continue protecting this community and and feel like we care about them and that we're giving them all of the resources that they deserve when they're here 24 7. Um, last year right here just engine 22 assisted in over 2,000 calls 146 of them fires 1300 medical calls so simply uh, simply put our new fire station is a really good prime example of when we put our, our neighborhoods first and public safety first and we'll get these roads right mayor fixed so that they can come in here smoothly so the fire trucks aren't jostling down the road um, I also want to thank our mayor again for his commitment and putting so many resources into our neighborhoods uh, I want to thank you know the Public Works Department. This was a very complicated job, and uh, I want to thank all of all of our fire rescue men and women here who had to still keep working full time around the clock while they had this new station built. And I'm sure that too um, was a sacrifice. But today, as you go through, you'll see that it was well worth it. And um, I'm just thrilled to be here to, to just see um, a concrete example of putting our first responders first, making them a top priority. And I just want to thank all, you, all of you so much for all that you do. Thank you. Thank you, Laura. Thank you, Laura. Thank you, Laura. Now I'd like to invite up uh, Chief Kevin Esther to say some remarks on behalf of the San Diego Fire Rescue Department. Chief? Thank you, Mayor. I'll make this as quick as I can because I know it's warm out there in that sun. Good morning, everyone. What a great day to rededicate beautiful Station 22 to the Point Loma community. This was a much needed teardown and rebuild of one of our oldest fire stations. As was mentioned, the original Station 22 opened on this same site in December of 1942. That station was designed and built by firefighters for $7,800. Could you imagine that? Uh, think about the era that this station went into service, too, as I was thinking about this last night. One year after Pearl Harbor, beginning of World War II for the, uh, the U.S., uh, can you imagine the history that has gone on out here in Point Loma, as many of you are well aware of, during that time, what this station saw and those crews saw? But after 75 years of service, that station still or just couldn't serve our, our, our needs. Uh, we couldn't even put our most recent fire engines into that station. They, uh, after raising the, uh, the header on the garage door, it wasn't tall enough, it wasn't wide enough. The station had just outlived its service life. So here we are in front of this state-of-the-art facility, and for that, again, I want to thank the mayor and members of city council who continue to demonstrate their dedication to public safety. I'd also like to quickly recognize some of those that contributed to this project from Public Works Department, Director James Nagelvort, Assistant Director Myrna Dayton, Deputy Director Leif Chitten, Senior Civil Engineer Jason Grani, Project Manager Roeda Jidan, Assistant Project Manager Marlon Perez, Construction Engineer Tony Perez, and Resident Engineer James Cognetti. 
from Lewis Berger Construction Management, April Penary. Our general contractor, EC Contractors, and Ron Gross from Nadal Architects. From Fire Rescue, I want to recognize retired Chief Javier Maynard, who's joining us, and retired Assistant Chief uh, Jeff Carl. Also, uh, Deputy Chief Jim Gabry, Project Officer Michelle Abelishon and her team, Matt uh, McCleary and uh, Don Larson, and Captains Tony Ferragamo and Firefighter Chris Brown, and lastly, uh, Jim Schultz with our IT department. One thing I want to mention is a little bit more on this art that I just found out about over here uh, on the uh, electrical box. You'll see that um, it's a painting on this side of the box of Captain uh, Pollock, who is a longtime uh, member of Station 22. Uh, this picture ha uh, was dedicated by uh, Cecilia Pollock, her, uh, his or his wife, sorry, and uh, daughter Debbie Hall. And if you look on the other side of the box, you'll see a picture of Debbie and her brother riding on Engine 22 back in the day. So beautiful. I, I realize there's lots of history in this station, and it's really neat to memorialize it in that way. So please take some time after this is uh, finished to look around the new station, a station that will house a dedicated crew carrying on the tradition of watching over Point Loma for the next 75 years. Thank you. Thank you, Chief. And so, it's a little bit of history. Just talking to Debbie that the, the seal on the mayor's desk at City Hall was carved by her father as well. Out of Fire Station 6, was it? Yep. Fire Station 6. A um, lot of history right here that we, that we love in Point Loma. And where's our former fire chief? Uh, where'd he go? Javier, where are you? I just wanted to point out that's what you get to wear when you're former fire chief. You look great. <laughs> He's got the flip flops on. He's an honorary Point Loma OB today. Chief, well done. Uh, Former council member Byron Ware, council member, great to see you, Byron. Thank you for all your help and support. Point Loma looking there. Um, as I said before, when we talk about history that this community loves uh, so much, um, it's of course, it's only fitting that we have represented so many people from the community, but particularly from our, our Point Loma Association. Um, we have our current chair, uh, Dave Martin, and vice chair, um, the Clark are here uh, as well to, to be with us. And so, uh, Clark Anthony, where are you, sir? Come on up and uh, say a few words, please. This is the uniform of the day every day in the Point Loma Association. I just thought I'd mention that. You might want to join us. Uh, for many years, the Point Loma Association has provided colorful canvas hose bed covers for Engine 22. And when we learned that the company was getting not only a new station house, but also a new engine, we worked very closely with Captain Tony Jeffries, who is right here behind me, uh, to provide new covers for the hose bed in the back of the truck, which is a big one. You, you can't see it because, of course, it's on the back of the truck, but you can look later. It has the Point Loma logo like is on the Point Loma Association and our lighthouse. And we also have provided new hose bed covers for either side of the engine. Now, the ones on the side are called Matty Dales. If you happen to be subscribing to the Point Loma Association newsletter, you would know exactly the history of all of that. In fact, we took you on a tour of this fire station two weeks ago before it even opened. Uh, if you're not subscribing to our twice monthly email newsletter, I have to put in a plug for it because you're missing out on some pretty good information. You can sign up at pointloma.org. Uh, it's free, and I have the feeling that the mayor probably reads it occasionally as well. So. Uh, with that said, I would just like to say on behalf of our new board chair, Dave May Martin, and on behalf of all of our Point Loma Association members, and on behalf of the entire community that is served and protected by all of these fine crew members, we thank you very much, we congratulate you on your new home, and we love your new Matty Dales. <laughs> Thanks, Clark. Well said. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, it's warm, so let's get right to it. We declare this fire, beautiful fire station officially open. It belongs to you and the community. And come on in, everybody, family, friends, and we'll be available for any questions one-on-one. -on -one. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations.